Hi YouTube, I was getting ready to put this hydroponic system together. Jay Noel, this is a shout out to you buddy, because you're the one that uh, kicked me in gear to do it. So Anyway, I've got the little cups. What I did was I just put them down on the lid, took a fat magic marker, traced around them, and then you have to have a good, it's got a lot of serrated edges on it, a good serrated stiff knife. But what I did to poke a hole, because my drill battery is dead, so I just took one of these. I use it outside. It's just a hook. It's got the threads on it. But you just mash it down a little bit. This is pretty soft plastic, so it's not too bad to get a hole in. See how easy it is to start? It's not bad at all. So I just screw it on down. Make sure I get a good hole and screw it back out. And then I can get my knife in there and start sawing away. And start angling it. If you angle it in a little bit, like you do with when you carve a pumpkin or something, the cups fit in there so nice. See, it's not that hard to cut, really, to be honest. It's just the lids are kind of awkward. <laughs> it's very easy to cut and very forgiving. If you make a little bit of a boo-boo, it'll be all right. No big deal. Just keep turning it as you cut it. It makes it a little bit easier. And again. Sorry. Hope I'm not making everybody dizzy. There you go. That's what it looks like. And here, you can see the cups fit down in it perfect. So, I'm going to get the rest of it together, and I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. All right, I'm back. I'm going to show you the setup here. This is just a bubbler that you get at Walmart. You know, you can find them everywhere. And some hose. The tubing they say to use black but I figured this will do for now anyway here's my little thrift store pump I don't know if you can see that that was $3.99 and I've got a heater in here a fish tank heater so anyway that's to, to keep the water warm for the plants and this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to take, as you can see, I didn't show you, but I took and cut little grooves right here for the hose and the plug for the fish tank uh, heater to fit through. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to cut this off. I'll just take it and run it up through here. And that way your lid will close and snap down. And that'll fit in there like that. And it's, the cup still fits. doesn't go through, but it still fits. And it doesn't obstruct the hose. See, there's there's room. Okay, same with the fish tank here. Let me hook my hose back up to my pump. Can you see it? And this is the plug for the heater. Just bring it up through here and put it in this little hole right there. And plug it into your power strip. And you want to get a timer also because this is what you're going to plug your light in. You've got to have 16 hours of light for these plants to grow. That's what Janel said. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you just for demonstration purposes only because... I haven't got my seedlings already all the way grown yet, so uh, what you do is you get your little peat moss, peat pots, or, you know, that's got your little seedlings in it, and you put them in here, and you get these clay balls, like this, anyway, and you put them around your plant, and then you just set them down in there. 
Now you might have to water your plant a few times till the roots get down to the water because the water, you only want to set it probably, you don't want it touching the bottom of the cups because there's a fine mist that comes up from this water and it, it will make the roots want to grow down into the water. So and that's what you do, but you can slap your, just snap your lid on tight, get your cups put in there with your plants. And there's six. I could probably do two more, but I don't want to crowd them. And also, after you do that, you know, they'll float till you get the plants in there. But I've got a frame I've got to put together, and I've got this grow light that I'm going to put over it. I got it for like 12 bucks at Walmart. It's the last one they had, so I thought it was a really good deal. It says grow light, 75 watts. So we'll see, you know, it might not be enough, but it says grow light, so portable. So I'm gonna get that rigged up and I'll do an update when I get everything finished and my little seedlings are ready to transplant and put in here. Thanks for watching. Oh yes. I have some organic fertilizer that I bought too today. Let me go get that. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back. I forgot. Alright, this is the organic fertilizer. And it's Grow Tone All-Purpose Plant Food Concentrate for organic gardening. For indoor and outdoor plants. Also, it gives you the directions on the back. Depending on the size of container that you buy. You know, it's like one ounce equals two... Uh, teaspoons or two capfuls shake well or two tablespoons sorry two capfuls shake well before using you know uh, feed every three or four weeks during the growing season for indoor plants mix one ounce of grow tone per gallon of water for outdoor plants mix two point two to four ounces of grow tone per gallon of water so it gives you the directions on the back and uh, I just wanted to use organic if I can't you know so I went and picked that up today actually so but anyway, when I get it completely done, the light hooked up, my little seedlings, I'll come back and do an up update. But this is my hydroponic setup. Thank you, Jay Noel. God bless you for helping me and my family. You just don't know what it means. And everybody take care and God bless.